Hey everybody. So what's going on today here in Dingaland? Beautiful Aurora Dingaland in the Philippines. Not much going on. Still in lockdown. Uh, some uh, subscriber asked about the chickens. Yeah, we moved things around a little bit. First, uh, what's Grace doing? She's making some beef stew. Beef, beef stew. Homemade. Homemade beef stew. From Grace. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you how to get a recipe is. <laughs> <laughs> tell, them, tell them where we got the beef at. <laughs> we got it from the cow. <laughs> they already got the cow yesterday. They uh, kill it. That's right. Then one of the neighbors called us up and said they knew somebody to kill the cow. Asked us if we wanted beef. We said, yeah, sure. We'll take some because all we eat here is fish and chicken and sometimes pork. So we'll take some beef. It's hard to get. Oh, Catherine's taking a bath. She's naked. Okay. So anyway, the beef uh, was a good price. Only 200 pesos a kilo. That's a uh, kilo is about two pounds. So that's 100 pesos a pound, which is like $2. Two dollars a pound for beef, fresh right off the cow. <laughs> fresh as you can get it. Good price. So we're trying it out. We're going to make some beef stew. Hopefully it's not too uh, tough. But anyway, here's the two chicken coops. Jimmy built this one out of bamboo. They call it kawaiian here. And then this one, uh, some screening we had from the neighbor. We also built a rabbit one from, I'll show you next. This is for the little chickens. We're going to put a second story on it. And uh, we put a second story on this one now. This is for the bigger ones. See, that's a second story. So hopefully uh, when they're ready to lay eggs, they'll go up in the second story here. And we'll put a little basket up there with some uh, hay or something. They can lay eggs in it. We'll see. So they're pretty much in the shade here. I don't think we have to move it around too much anymore. They have a roof. They might get a little bit of sun, but they can uh, they can adjust. And uh, what else is new? I'll show you the rabbit cage. Oh, I'll show you the garden while we're here. Growing good. It's fertilized water. They water it twice a day, once in the morning. Once at night. Stuff to spring it up. Wow. Feels good, huh, Captain? I wish I could do that. We have an outdoor shower here. Maybe I'll cool off later. See, the tree shower. And then, of course, in the bathrooms, there's showers. So, really, we have like four or five, five showers here. And we'll look at the rabbit cage over here. The rabbits like this one better than the old one. They can see what's going on. The other one, 
they couldn't see anything. They stay cooler too because of all the screening. And it's easier to clean also. So we got benefits all around. Whoa! Bee just landed on me. We've got a little tunnel thing for them. Because rabbits like to uh, to dig in the tunnel and the burrow. Burrowing. Jimmy just got finished doing Hello. some work and eating. He's resting. We'll give him another project later. That's it. Uh, that's the update. Just continuous lockdown. Like I'm sure it is where you're at. I just caught a couple extra subscribers. I had 28, now I have 30. So those two people just subscribe. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Keep telling your friends. Tell everyone who's bored, on lockdown, watching TV. Look at this crazy guy. This goofball who moved to the Philippines. We're all on lockdown together. Even though I'm 9,000 miles from the U.S. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you something. Let me zoom in. This is the Sahara Madre Mountains. But, uh, apparently... See that? Somebody's been chainsawing up there. Now, if you've been following my videos, you know Jennifer. Jennifer's been here all her life. She was here this morning, and I asked her. I said, is that legal for them to be chainsawing all the trees up there? It's like clearing that whole little area. She said, yes, it's uh, native people. And they're uh, putting a place where they can put a big garden. I said, well, that's an awful lot of land for a garden. I said, the mayor approved that? She said, yes. Now, she does know everything, but I don't know if she really knows that. I question it. But as long as it doesn't get any bigger than that, and they don't start doing it all over, because that's going to be an eyesore, and that's going to piss me off, because I like looking at these beautiful mountains every day. Nice, lush, green mountains with coconut trees and everything else, and the nice Pacific Ocean. Some people fishing out there. Let me see if I can zoom in again. Again, this is only uh, my camera on my phone. It's not very good. I did a phone review on one of my previous videos, if you guys want to see what I'm using. Huawei P7 Pro. So until I can get better equipment, this is what I have to deal with. Anyway, uh... Some people, this is all the only way they have to get food is right here at Pacific Ocean. And if they know somebody with pigs or chickens or a cow, or somebody that grows vegetables. As I said before, this is a really small province. It's a small town. Everybody helps everybody. It's the way it should be. Even if you don't have money, you can barter. Just say, hey, 
give me some vegetables, I'll give you some chicken, or whatever it might be. We have extra fish. You want to trade for some pork. It's a good way to do things. It's the way things was were done in the old days. Still are done in these small provinces. A lot of poor people here. And we can't drink. They cut off our alcohol. which I don't understand, but there is a lot of alcoholism here in the Philippines. Maybe they're afraid it'll get out of hand. I don't know. And like I said in previous video, we can play music again, but you just can't sing. No karaoke allowed. So those new viewers I have, watch some of the old ones. You understand why I'm here and what I'm doing. And I do post at least one a day. So hit that uh, subscribe. Hit that bell. It gives you notifications that I posted. Give me some comments of what you might want to see. The new viewers, the new subscribers. And the old ones. Let me know. I'll make a video, anything you want. You tell me. I look at all the comments. I read them every day. I appreciate the thumbs ups. So keep telling your friends. If you got a video here that you've seen and you really, really like, you want me to do more of that type? Let me know. I can do another goofball video. Once in a while I try to get serious, but right now the world is serious enough. So I hope you all stay safe out there and make the best of this time on lockdown. Do what you can. Get some exercise. Get some air, get some sun. Stay safe, stay healthy. Okay, so take care everyone. Hopefully my lunch is ready soon because I didn't need any breakfast. Keep watching. This too shall pass. Beach bum out.